Hey everyone, and welcome to AutoGPT Tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about Microsoft's new project, Gorilla, an API store for large language models, LLMs. I'm sure you're familiar with LLMs. They're powerful AI models that can generate text, translate languages, and answer your questions in an informative ways. Microsoft, introducing a project Gorilla, a near AGI system that's already capable of independently exploring the web and acquiring knowledge from new tools to complete extremely intricate tasks. And while this was once a science fiction fantasy, Microsoft's Gorilla is now the closest thing we have to achieving the holy grail of artificial general intelligence, with Gorilla already outperforming its peers like GPT-4 chatbots, ChatGPT, and Claude AI. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. So let's dive into what the researchers from UC Berkeley and Microsoft have given birth to. In fact, Gorilla possesses the capability to respond to various tasks and questions by employing separate API calls as a means for different software applications to communicate with each other. An API call is an application programming interface that allows for multiple programs or AI models to talk to each other and pass data between them. For instance, an AI could use the Twitter API with a text generation API in order to programmatically generate news and share it much faster than a human could. Impressively, Gorilla stands out as a super-powered large language model proficient in interacting with a vast array of APIs from diverse domains and platforms. It can seamlessly employ APIs from machine learning hubs like Torch Hub, TensorFlow Hub, and Hugging Face, as well as cloud services such as GCP and Kubernetes. Most remarkably, all of this is accomplished without requiring pre-programming. Plus, it can adapt to novel tools and changes in real time. And because Microsoft and UC Berkeley jointly developed this AI model, it's also been released as an open source project on GitHub. But regarding how Gorilla compares with and outperforms other large language models like GPT-4 or Claude, there are a few significant differences that set it apart. Most crucially, Gorilla surpasses its counterparts in accuracy and reliability concerning its generation of API calls. It can even precisely produce the correct syntax arguments and outputs for any API call minimizing the hallucination errors often made by other LMS, which ensures that it does not fabricate untrue or irrelevant information. Furthermore, Gorilla exhibits greater flexibility and adaptability when it comes to utilizing tools. For example, it can effectively handle changes in API documentation, updates and versions without experiencing breakdowns or loss of functionality. Additionally, it can learn on the fly from new sources of information such as web pages or documents. Lastly, Gorilla excels in power and versatility, enabling it to tackle complex tasks that involve multiple API calls or steps of reasoning, even spanning across different domains or platforms. In essence, it can adeptly handle virtually any task that necessitates the utilization of internet tools designed specifically for API calls. Gorilla also deploys a potent combo of self-instruct fine-tuning and retrieval techniques, which allows it to accurately select from a large and constantly evolving toolset. Expressed through their APIs and associated documentation to lay the groundwork, the researchers have constructed an extensive corpus of APIs aptly named API Bench by scraping machine learning APIs from leading model hubs such as Torch Hub, Tensor, Hub, and Hugging Face. But the process doesn't stop there. For Gorilla's learning journey, the researchers use self-instruction to create pairs of instructions and matching APIs. This data was then morphed into a chat-style conversation format tailor made for user-agent interaction. Then they implemented standard instruction fine-tuning on the Llama 7B model. Sounds simple, right? But there's more to the story, as even the seemingly straightforward task of handling API calls isn't without its complexities. Often these calls come with specific constraints that add a layer of difficulty to the LMS understanding and categorization. This underscores the need for LMS to comprehend not just the functional description of an API call, but also reason about the embedded constraints. Gorilla's design is the concept of retriever-aware training. This technique allows the LM to adapt to changes in API documentation, thereby improving its performance and reducing hallucination. Errors. 
During inference, users provide prompts in natural language, which Gorilla uses to determine the best API to invoke based on the mode of operation. However, as in any realm of technology, there are challenges to overcome. That's why, when it comes to evaluating API calls, things can get tricky. The traditional approach of relying solely on test cases often falls short as it becomes challenging to verify the semantic correctness of the code. However, with the use of an abstract syntax tree matching strategy, it's possible to trace which API is being invoked, bringing us one step closer to accurate evaluation. That brings us to one of the biggest challenges in this process, as identifying and defining hallucinations poses a significant hurdle. However, leveraging the AST matching process, hallucinations can be identified directly. It's crucial to distinguish between a hallucination and incorrectly invoking an API, the former being a completely imagined tool, while the latter is merely an error. Understanding the API called within the dataset also involves a critical process as AST subtree matching plays a vital role in recognizing the specific API being invoked within the dataset. Because API calls can contain multiple arguments, each of these arguments needs to be matched. Plus, Python's allowance for default arguments adds yet another layer of complexity to this task. Moreover, Gorilla exists in three versions with one variant relying on Meta Llama, which isn't available for commercial use, whereas the versions based on MP87 and Falcon 7B are permissible for commercial purposes. And while other models like GPT-4 exhibit impressive performance across various tasks like code generation, they still face limitations in adapting to newer APIs because their API knowledge remains fixed during training, leading to potential hallucinations where they may produce non-existent API calls. To tackle these challenges, recent efforts have been made to address the issue. For instance, Meta's Toolformer allows the invocation of external service APIs, while ChatGPT implements a plugin system to augment LMS with external resources. In contrast, the Gorilla approach takes a different path, focusing on systematic evaluation and the creation of a pipeline for future usage. The researchers began by curating the API bench dataset, comprising 1645 API calls collected from model cards available on the Hugging Face Model Hub, PyTorch Hub, and TensorFlow Hub. These calls were used to generate instruction API pairs through GPT-4 facilitating the fine-tuning of Gorilla. Moving forward, researchers will continue to empower large language models with these kinds of tools, allowing them to access expansive, dynamic knowledge bases and execute complex computational tasks without being frozen into their training data. In fact, major providers have already started integrating plugins that enable these models to invoke external tools via APIs, catalyzing a leap from a limited set of hard-coded tools to a vast cloud of APIs, setting the stage for LMS to transform into the primary interface for computing infrastructure and the web. In conclusion, Gorilla stands as a groundbreaking approach in the realm of tool augmented LMS with its trailblazing features and advanced capabilities. The anticipation is high to see this model improve as it continues towards possible artificial general intelligence. All right, I hope you found this video useful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel for more updates on AI. I've got great content coming up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.